Well, long time no see. It's been quite a while since I've made a video, but I am back. Basically, College Express asked me if I would be interested in being a student vlogger for this next kind of term or part, and I said yes. So I'm very excited to be doing a few more videos for the channel. This video is about how to be a planner. Um, I pride myself on being pretty organized in majority of aspects in my life, so I'm gonna share just a few little tips that have helped me be more organized and learn how to plan things out more effectively. Starting with schoolwork, I have a agenda or homework book like a lot of people do. Mine is very beaten up. I've had to tape it. I've been using it since when I was, oh, here comes my cat. Do you wanna say hi? Nola says hi, and so does her tail. I've been using this same book since 2015, so it is full of lots of my old homework assignments. Um, but basically, I just, throughout the week, I write down what it is that I have to do, and I cross it off when it's done, or if I need to make a note, and then I put a check mark by the subject when it is complete. Highly recommend to keep your homework organized and when things need to be done by um, getting yourself a planner. That sounds so simple, but it really can make a huge difference when you're trying to remember what the heck you needed to do for that one class. The other thing I find really helpful is I have a to-do list book, which I love the quote on this. It says, some people dream of success while others wake up and work hard at it. But basically this is my to-do list book where just as it sounds, I put, my to-do list for the day. If I have a lot of things I want to get done, I will put them in here and once again cross them off as I can as I complete them. Uh, this to-do list obviously I didn't do very well on because nothing was crossed off, but I can guarantee you I definitely didn't do nothing that day because sometimes I just forget to cross things back off. But it is a nice way to remember what it is you wanted to get done that day and feel pretty accomplished when you're able to check most if not all things off of the list. And the third and final tip I have is um, an organization app. Um, I know for me, sometimes I forget that I have an event um, or even just to organize my classes, I use an app called Cozy, which is C-O-Z-I. And it's a free app, uh, well, if you wanna pay for like the fancy version, you can, but the basic version's fine. We all use it as a family and we put in the events that need to happen, whether it be my parents are going to an event I use it to put in what classes I have during a week, which I'm actually going to be doing after this video because I need to put it in for this week. Um, and then you can also set reminders for whatever it is that you've put in if you want to so you won't forget that you have it. Uh, if you don't feel like downloading a new app on your phone or if you don't have a lot of space like me, um, if you have an iPhone, you can use just the, the calendar that's on there. You can set the alarms for that one as well. So if you find that you kind of forget what you've agreed to, or you forget that there's things you needed to do instead of just hanging out at your apartment, highly recommend using an organization app or even just a physical calendar to uh, write down what the heck you're doing every day. Nola approves of this message. That's about it. Those are the main tips that I have uh, trying to keep this video short and sweet. I know there's a lot going on in the world right now, but we will make it through, we will persevere, and I will see you guys in the next video.